Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun. Alright, let's get back into it. Last time we uh, had just gotten the uh, x-ray scope, and now we're trying to get out of the room. And I stepped on a spike for no reason. Great! Alright, so that's the x-ray scope. Um, and that... Should be everything, folks. Uh, we should have every item in the game at this point. So if we don't, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I gotta go back and find it. So let's uh, equip the ice beam for this part. Just makes it a little easier. And uh, we'll go ahead and ah, come on. Stop moving. Okay, we're gonna head back up uh, out this area the same way we went to the uh, wrecked ship. And there's actually an exit out of Meridia uh, around here too. It's out of that right hand side wall. There's a little uh, uh, morph ball sized exit that uh, you can come out of. Uh, I believe it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Meridia that you come out of. Um, obviously, not that useful if uh, I didn't use it at all during this run. So. Um, just in case anybody wanted to know, I will be uh, saving the animals. I, I can't remember if I mentioned that in a previous run, but uh, it's true. I will be saving the animals. So let's see uh, how my explorations have, uh, how, we, how effective they have proved. Yes. That's 100% folks. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and save state right here. Alright. Save state. Yes. Alright. So now let's head on to the final showdown. Alright, still got some enemies over here, not a big deal. Um, we're gonna head over to the statue section again. Just like in the first one, we had another statue section that we got to do to, to get through. Only this one can't be cheated. Um, and uh, I'm leaving the free the uh, ice beam on because we're gonna need it in the next section. Alright, long hallway filled with nothing. And here we go. Kraid, Fantoon, Dragon, and Ridley. They've all bitten the dust. First statue was just Kraid and Ridley. And it didn't uh, earthquake or nothing like that. It just made a little bridge. Hmm. Oh well. Well, in the, in the original Metroid, it made a bridge. And, uh, Metroid Zero Mission, the mouths opened up so you could go through them. So, I wonder which one it was. Can we say conflicting stories? Not a big deal. Not like it's not not like it's a story breaker. Not to me anyway. All right, let's head straight on down here. You could jump to the right and save if you needed to, but uh, we're not going to do that. Because we've got save states. Alright, and guess what? Our worst fears are realized. Metroids. Uh, to kill them, simply freeze them and shoot them with a super missile. And don't jump in the lava. You notice how this lava is solid as opposed to the transparent lava of Norfair? Yeah, this lava still hurts you even with the gravity suit, so don't try it. It sucks. Now, if you start in this area with full everything, um, you're probably going to get out of this area with full everything if you don't get hit too much. Because the Metroids tend to drop what you need. Um, as you see, they just dropped three super missiles for me. They can drop a lot of items. And most of the time, they'll drop a super missile or two and some health if you need it. So, um, 
it's a good area. Um, you just gotta move quick through it. Um, just make sure you uh, know where they're at and fire ahead of you. Uh, so you don't get latched onto. If you do get latched onto, uh, you need to either shake them loose, shake them off of you, or uh, hit them with three uh, power bombs, and that will get them off of you as well. And not hit the stupid little donut thingies with the uh, super missiles that don't work. Alright. But you do have to kill them all to be able to get to the next uh, room. Dang, I'm down four super missiles. That sucks. Oh well. Uh, you're probably gonna get hit going through these, that room at least, um, at least once. So, but don't worry about it, cause you're gonna get hit a whole lot here shortly. A whole bunch of enemies turned into dust. I wonder why. And that was a weird little squeal. I wonder what that was. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a big giant Metroid. Oh, what are we gonna do? It's huge. It's much bigger than the other ones. Oh, I gotta get away. I gotta get away. No! It's got me. It's got me. It's got me. It's gonna kill me. No, I can't get it off me. I can't shoot. I can't do anything. Oh. No! Hey, wait a minute. Didn't kill me. Hey. That's the Metroid we're looking for. It knows. It thinks Samus is its mom. All right. We got a Metroid good guy. Hey. It remembers us. That's a good thing. But. Anyhow. We are going to come over here and hopefully save uh, time with our. Uh, map trick here. Um, oh, it, we didn't need missiles, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, just refill our energy up and uh, head on. Alright. Okay, the last area. Okay, now these uh, barriers, these Zebatite barriers or whatever they're called, um, it's a good idea to shoot them with super missiles um, because they regenerate and uh, they take a lot of missiles to kill. So you could be here for a little bit um, trying to shoot them with normal missiles. Um, but four super missiles will do the trick pretty quickly. Um, and then you can go ahead and start taking out the... Mother Brain? What? We killed Mother Brain! Oh well, start taking her out. With the uh, normal missiles. You can fire them pretty quick, and uh, not a whole lot's gonna knock you out from where you need to hit her, so... Alright, well we've destroyed Mother Brain, and uh, I guess we'll try to escape next time on Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun.